random army kettle and a random stash. Tons of gunfire and speaking of stashes. Yeah, no, nothing really known. Okay. Hmm, I guess we could pop in to Freedom's area and see if they got any bullets for me. They ought to, right? I don't I don't need a ton. Because I can easily avoid combat out and about. It's like when you're going into one of those underground labs, you can't really just get away from combat. You're sort of locked into it. There's no escape. So you better make sure you brought enough stuff. Otherwise, oof, I don't even know. Run, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's like one of those situations against a pseudo giant where if you didn't have... If you didn't have the bullets to handle it, like, what, what do you do? I guess just run through and hope it doesn't kill you along the way? Bad situation. Duty under fire from mercs and warehouses west of the road to radar. Sounds like bad news duty. Sorry to hear it. Any work? Five bear detectors, ten lead line metal containers. Ten battery packs, at least 75% condition. Get paid for extra items. What the f Nine dog meat, six first aid kits. A locked case to skin flint and cordon. Eh. Uh, maybe down in Corden? I guess I'll do it. Is duty gonna like me less if I do missions for these guys, though, I wonder? That'd be rough. So, bullets. Mmm, normal. Normal full metal jacket. 11,000 bucks in bullets. Eep. Uh, all right. Here, have, uh, these magazines and stuff. These photos and telescopic mirrors and jewelry boxes and freedom patches. <laughs> I got a couple of them. You don't pay any different for them, though. But... Soaked underwear, field cutlery, just the random odds and ends. Okay. 3,000 bucks off my purchase of almost 12,000. Ouch. Oh, your skin flint. Right, I'm picking up. A it's like Sid's quest, I think. Picking up that courier package. That makes a bit of sense. It's in Corden. It's fine. I've been there before. I know the way. I don't really have any business down there anymore. It's the southern end of the map, but whatever. I'm positive this dude will stay alive. So... It's just one of those deals. As long as it doesn't reduce my duty rep, I don't see a reason why not. Why not at least grab it? And I think you're who I'm after. Let's see where you want me to go. I imagine you also want me to head up north. Do not say Lab X16. No, привет. I've been following a stalker named Straylock. Did he pass by a week or so ago? Straylock? Saw him. We met a couple of times during our Deep Zone excursions. Actually came along a few days ago and asked me about the situation. Then he and his team helped us repel another monolith incursion. Ow. You're not what I thought you were. Lurker? What's a lurker? What is happening? Is that mercenaries? I don't know who's friend and foe here, man. Ooh. 
Dude, I got hard cover. You stand no chance. I have no idea what he said. Oh, it's Monolith again. Need a proper bandage. Holy crap, they got me pinned. Oh god, hi. Clean headshot. Nice. Okay, first aid kit. <sighs> Such a long use. They're throwing grenades at me now, man. like somewhere in the trees how do you see me okay what was this please tell me what you were i hate that you don't tell me what you are right you were the slow heal that's right okay another proper bandage <clears throat> go for a first aid kit while they advance on me that's a zombie there are a couple zombies Gatekeeper, look out! Just delete them right here and now. So do you still have a weird angle on me? Ah. Have you always been by those rocks? Man, tough. And breakthrough. Are we good yet? What was all of this? Jesus. Feels just a little unnecessary, all these dudes. At least they're all monolith. That's good. Making sure I didn't, like, accidentally mess up a group of folks that I shouldn't have with, uh, like, an errant shot. It's like, oh, all the ecologists are angry at you, though. Please, no. Forty-five percent. That's, like, almost... Almost good to go. And then some monolith one-piece suit. Monolith exosuit. The underwear of an exoskeleton. I think no. I mean, that's a, that's a freedom guy. For a one camouflaged, uh, better fire rate and accuracy and all that on the M four A one. This thing with its the arc one is the one with a terrible scope. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, it's like, oh, I recognize that gun. Nah, it's bad. Don't do it. Monolith Prayer Part Two or Three. Hey, I guess so. It's 
25% on this exoskeleton. The freedom dude, I don't think was me. Uh. Okay. <laughs> RPG. Scientific medkit as well. Poopy food. I wonder if this was like a bunch of scripted dudes or something after that conversation, because this is a lot. Some other freedom dude. Oops. We also got the living legend thing that popped up afterwards, so I think it was possibly related. Man, would I ever be interested in, uh... Something like that. It's only got the one belt slot, though. I'd really care about the- I care about the belt slots a lot more than I probably should. Those are all loaded. The M41 I'm kind of interested in maybe fixing up one day. Don't know if it's worth it or not. <sighs> um... Is that everybody? Everybody up here, at least. These silencers and stuff. Oh my god. A lot of gun parts, man! I'm like, almost tempted just to go nuts. Disassemble all this. Just for things to have. Mission updated crackdown. No, oh, not the campfire. What? No, not the camp. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Every time I hit Ev. <laughs> Flash eye. And that, I think, is everyone. One of you guys had a pretty okay exosuit. That was the warrior freedom. Yeah, the monolith exosuit. Two belt slots. It's like... I don't know, maybe? There's also the M16A4. It's a lot more accurate than what I've got. What were you? 25%. Okay, so we'll rip you apart. And grab what parts I can, fix those parts up. We'll attempt to, maybe. And then I grab that. Too overloaded to move. And that's fine. Weight carry is 17 more, but... Rip that patch out. Make no mistake. 55%. Holy crap, is that close. <laughs> the helmet that this comes with is in bad shape. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we brought you just in case it got real bad, so there we go. We'll use... I don't, I don't just some patch, like a bandit patch or something. I don't... I don't really know. Alright. So, what all is... <laughs> Alright, okay, take this off real quick. <laughs> what all is... Oh. <clears throat> Never mind. Time to find shelter. I made a stash and I deposited just a bunch of stuff into it. 
<sighs> uh, zombies didn't look at you guys yet because I kind of forgot about you. You usually don't have very much, so whatever. Is this shelter? Nice. Excellent. It's a size storm as well. Dang. Okay. So, uh... I don't know what all of that was, but holy crap, we got a couple hundred rep from it. Mm. Okay, yeah, that was a scripted thing. Psychic emanations, good luck with them, even deactivate brain scorcher. Psy helmets. Helped us repel another monolith incursion. Managed on our own, but they really did a good job. Slaughtered us record time. Yeah, okay, and then more of them came by. Okay. So, do we gotta talk to you again then? Yeah. Alright. Repelled the monolith assault. There's also something else that popped up. What was that? Crackdown. Return for my reward. Oh, maybe monolith patches. Okay, I guess we can do that. I gotta drop stuff off anyway. Talk to gatekeeper. Ferry the first load of stuff down. Turn in crackdown. And come back up, grab stuff. And then we continue north. I wasn't expecting so many monolith dudes, man. Holy crap. That was crazy. And kind of fun. A little less fun. We're just being pinged from an RPK from God knows where. <laughs> they shouldn't hit you, but yeah, they try anyway. Scary. Pop uh, the F4 for a bit of just slow healing. So yeah, slow bleed, big bleed, slow heal, slow heal, fast heal. You yeah, right. Got it. I guess I should also drop this stuff off. Since I'm planning, it's heavy and I'm bringing it up north anyway. We can drop that stuff off and... Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds like a plan. Drop this stuff off in the stash. And then I think I can do it with just the one trip. I would hope. I guess I touch one of those two. I scrapped some of the parts of like the guns I'm kind of interested in and the armors and we can maybe see about fixing them up. I think most of this is too broken to the bottle with though, unfortunately. Because I need like what? 20% at least? 10 maybe? Yeah, 10% at the minimum. So that is too far gone there, unfortunately. 18% on the plates, 11% on the K129. That would work. All right. Little spec textile. Some of that I might also have at home. I don't know. I wasn't paying too close attention. <sighs> we good yet? You done? Yeah, all right. That was nuts. Did you Ooh, see that? Yeah. That was a close call. Well, this is about average. Anyway, thanks for the help. Haven't got a limitless supply of manpower. So any assistance we get is appreciated. So, rating Scorcher. Any other advice? Don't die. Anomalies, radiation mutants, monolith patrols. If you actually manage to shut down the Scorcher, go into Zaton next. Old wreckage called Skedovsk. Beating place for local stalkers. If you don't find him on your own, they'll be your best bet for tracking down Straylock. Yeah. I want to go there anyway. Ooh. Over the rainbow. Hmm. And where's that wanting me to go? Okay, disabling the Scorcher is where it wants me to go. Great. Okay, well, 
We're heading kind of up in that area next anyway. I guess. Stuff! <laughs> things. Because we're going to be grabbing this stuff up anyway. So it just, it can all just sit there. Um. Yeah, wow, a lot of, a lot of things. I don't know why I brought the RPG. I figured, I don't know, maybe one day? Yeah. <laughs> Just something to, something to hold on to. Uh, we need, we need to bring this with to get... Well, no, I can pick up the basic kit that I've got. Or not the basic kit, the, uh... uh medium armor repair kit. I can bring that up next, and then the helmets there waiting. So really just the guns bringing those down if I can. Is that? Yeah, no, it's too overloaded to move. Fair enough. I feel like the RPG I don't care about. Similar with the army kettle that's for cooking, which I'm not really bothering with. Mm, do I have anything else that's like stupid heavy that I really don't need? I'm not even really sure what to look for in that regard. Ah, uh, because I don't think we're too far off, but it's also not close enough that caffeine tabs are okay. I think the RPG just has to go. <laughs> Plain and simple. I don't I don't know if there's any anything I can do for an RPG. I found there's a key binding for the item use animations. Big fan of that. It's by default plus. I rebounded to the numpad plus because it's a bit more clear for me. So I can kind of enable and disable it on the floor. If I'm disassembling a bunch of stuff, I can just disable item use animations and it's just do, 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 it's instantly done. Or like swapping around gear. And then when I'm back out in the field and all that, I can enable them again so the first aid kits actually perform the way they're meant to. Because if I disable the item use animations for the med kits, they're just used. But that's it. Which kind of gets rid of the a major point of having stim packs and stuff down the road. So like I, I like that the healing items take an animation, but I don't like. I don't like the disassembling and all that doing that. Because now I can just like a lot easier just be like, oh these radios, done. Oh, oops. Ugh, disable animations. Boom. Done. Camera. Done. Camera. Done. This is so much faster. Uh, yeah. Because it sucks having to wait for it otherwise. And those don't disassemble. Excellent. So here's stuff. Jeez. And also the model of the exosuit. Which is compatible with stuff like chemical fire retardant and inserts. It's a fine tuning thing. I don't know, maybe. Probably not, honestly. Just pay them the money for it. We'll just sell all of these things. It's whatever, man. Mm, my armor is back up north in the stash. So then ammo that's not mine. Send that all over. Pistol ammo, same deal. And then old ammo. Send over two, because eventually we're going to be disassembling the old ammo and using the gunsmithing tools to create new ammo. Eventually. Going to be some time, unfortunately. But that's okay. And then sights and such, I don't... I don't think I care about suppressors. Cobra is kind of all right. This ecotech thing. Can that go on the pistol, maybe? No. Okay. All NATO rifles. Okay. So that'll go on the M4A1 if I repair that or whatever. All these, like, project guns that I've got. <laughs> I like it. And all that you can have. Wooden parts. Oh, okay. 
All right. I think that's pretty okay. There's a couple syringes too. And I guess a vodka drug. That armor to repair. Um, 30% condition. Wasn't it 29? 30% yeah, condition. The big thing is the exohelm. We can get away with ignoring that though. If we were to get... Not usable below 50%, huh? We need to get 20% more out of it. Okay, let's reset inventories here real fast. Uh, that. One of... One of those. One of those. Yeah, that, that's the four. These plates are in terrible shape. They would need fixing with... Ugh. Only field armor repair kits. Holy crap, that's bad news. Hey! Point's gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I wanted just to straight up repair it. Yeah, 78,000. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't have any field armor repair kits. You do have the exoskeleton kits, which are about 20. Nope, that's not the... Wait. Exoskeleton? Oh, no, just heavy. Just heavy. Okay. So it could be worse. But we may need one of those with the five uses, so we could replace all... F technically all five parts, but all four parts that still have a use left to just, like... Fix up the condition a bit more. This is like almost tempting to go for, honestly. The Miltex textiles we repair with the slowing thread, otherwise, we need these field repair kits. Ooh, which are only 2,100? Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, that ain't that bad at all. Okay, so a couple of those. You can have these. I don't, I don't care about them. Okay. So, buy that. I also, just in case, for my other armor, condition is it at? Uh, it was low enough I needed the proper light armor repair kit, which I think I've got one of. Yeah, one of these. No. Not one of those. Crap! Similar green bag. You got a lot of crap. Okay. So... Use you to repair... Oh, that's not a huge boost. Get these plates up the best we can, then. Definitely... This tape-ish stuff to 100%. And then that leaves me with the polyethylene lightweight armor plates that I'd have to repair. By, uh, what, two more uses to get it? Th that's, that's only plus three, so that's not really worth it. The other three bits are what's worth it. So we'll use this last use on that. And then that just has to be stored away. Okay. So then I asked to use your vice. Oh my god, and it's free? Yo! Can I have the sludge? I'm gonna skin something with that sludge. This guy. Replace the textiles. Oh! The textiles, I can sell those. Hold on. I forgot. Uh... 
There. That's an easy one. Textiles. Boom. Insulating. Boom. It brings it to 58%. Those, boom, may as well. 70%. I think that's worth it, right? I was like, yeah, that's that, because what is. This kit's gonna give it like 10%, so as long as it increased the average by 10%, that's fine. Ah, repaired! And then we can repair this now. With... Because it's at 70%. I think we still have to use the proper kit once. Mm, yeah, 85, 80, 90, 70. On glue tube? Glue tube. All right, we just pour glue all over this thing. Yeah. Yeah, and use the other glue tubes with it, I think, just for the bit of a boost. Actually, let's just use patches. That's, well, we do have a decent amount of the glue, other glue tubes, actually. You know what? Yeah, fine. Uh, yeah. There. Excellent. Was it worth it? I have no idea. The ballistic resistance is incredible on this thing. It's a proper sort of suit. Doesn't have the faction patch in there, so it's no longer registered with Monolith. The radiation resistance is still quite good. Psychic resistance is obviously very nice. Explosive and impact resistance, as you would expect. Rupture resistance is a bit low. Burn electrical is a bit poop. We would need... Yeah, it doesn't really help much. <sighs> doesn't help much. We could put these on, though. We're, like, so conductive. But our resistances are incredible. Cool. And that is how you properly repair something. It took a lot less money doing it that way. And we still have a couple proper uses of the heavy armor repair kit. So that feels nice. That feels real nice. That's what I'd like to be doing also with like some of these fancier guns is you just drop like the 30, 40,000 bucks on the big parts to get it repaired up enough by swapping parts and that you can just do like top off maintenance on it to get it the rest of the way. Yeah, that felt good. I'd like that.